I have seen many searching for answers far and wide, but I know that we're all searching for answers. Only you can provide for you, know just what we need before we say a word. Father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. I know for me, sometimes when I'm searching for clarity, I'm searching for Answers. I find myself thinking, man, I need to pray about this, and I stop and do this. Something I've grown up in and knowing, and it really is important to do. I think sometimes, if we don't uh, catch ourselves, though, we can say, I want to pray for something, and we can miss the fact that the Lord has already shown us or given us the answer, uh, because a lot of times the Lord isn't going to tangibly write something out for us and say, here's the answer, here's the cure. Now, I am not saying that He can't. Uh, I, I have experienced clarity, especially like digging into the Word of God. But I'll give you an, uh, uh, an example of what I think the lyrics of this song resonate within my heart in this season for sure, is that when we are praying, Lord, I need answers um, and I'm searching and I'm looking for them, but I'm just going to keep coming to you, Lord. And he's He's saying, I've given you the answer, which is the, the wisdom to know that something's off, something's wrong, something is, is awry. You need to go to a reliable source that I've created that understands and can help you through this. And I'm, I'm referring to like an illness. If you uh, are sick, many times you can go and get a diagnosis and then you pray for healing or you pray for clarity. And then I believe the Lord gives us a peace on the treatment. But if we searched for answers just in prayer and we did not allow the clarity and the wisdom for the Lord to dwell within us to say, hey, take that next step to go and, and get um, advice from a medical professional, whether it's physical or mental, then in that moment, we are asking the Lord to, uh, we're continuing to ask him to give us the answer. And if we don't acknowledge the fact that he has given us, and it could just be through the wisdom of discerning what our next move is, then we may feel like he's ignoring us or he's not hearing us or we're just at a loss. Um, so I encourage us all to process through praying to the Lord for the answer could really be saying, Lord, just give me wisdom on my next step, on the next place that I go to. I've been uh, told this is the illness that I have or that I'm processing through. And then I'm speaking to a doctor. And now this doctor has told me this. I need to dig more into this topic, into the understanding of my diagnosis so that I can make the, the better choice on how I'm going to be cured from this, the reality of what the effect is going to have on me, um, especially in cases of mental health issues. It's very important. Prayer is very, very important, but we can't use prayer as a place where we just go and then we don't move forward past that. The Lord is not a genie by any means, and there can be a peace that he can give, but I also believe he gives us wisdom in the choices that we have to make, especially this side of heaven. And that to me is what a good father does. Many times as we grow older, our earthly father doesn't always tell us what to do. They will direct us and they will guide us into the right direction because at the end of the day, they want our hearts to be driven and to own the choice that we're making because they know they've learned as a father, they've learned that the choice you make, you have to live with. Will they hurt? Will they journey with you? Will they be excited for whatever the choice could be? It could be a very awesome opportunity. But in the end, they know to allow you to use your wisdom and your discernment so that you can make the choice that's best for you in this season of life. I hope this has helped you guys today. Uh, there's a lot of uniqueness going on in our world. If you haven't had the chance to check out the group Cycle Breaking, um, I've tagged it a lot online. And that is the place where we are processing through a lot of the racial tensions uh, that we're facing today. I would encourage you guys to meet me there. Uh, it's a safe community where we're just learning together and asking questions. Besides that, I want to remind you guys that we do have a good, good father. And above all things, we are loved, we are valued, and in prayer, we can find peace 
and a way to calm our fears and our nerves so that we can stand and rise and be a part of the solution and not be a part of the fear and hatred that the enemy wants to continue to facilitate. Let's break cycles. You guys have a blessed day. See you tomorrow. Hi.